This demonstration will explain how to use financial dimensions when processing transactions in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2009. We will use the General Journal in the General Ledger module to demonstrate the validation rules that are set up in the chart of accounts. We have created a new General Journal. We click on the Lines button to enter the details of the first transaction. We have entered a transaction to record travel expense. The travel expense account 601500 has default dimensions specified in the chart of accounts. However, the validation rules are different for each dimension. You will notice that the dimensions that were set up on the account are defaulted into the transaction. Let's look at the validation rules for this account. When you right-click on account 601500 and select Go to the main table, the Chart of Accounts form will open. You can review dimension details on the Dimension tab. Department dimension is set up with a validation rule of table, which indicates that there is only one valid dimension. Dimension listed on the account will default into the transaction and cannot be changed. In this example, the department is 010, Administration. The cost center dimension validation rule is to be filled in, which means that it is required. The dimension specified here will default into the transaction and can be changed but not removed. The third dimension purpose has a validation rule optional. No dimension is listed here. The user can put a dimension into the transaction or leave it blank. Now let's go back to our journal entry and see what happens when we try to change the dimensions. We removed all three dimensions and then validated the journal line. An info log appears notifying the user that the department must be 010 and the cost center must be specified for account 601500. We selected department 010 and cost center 1101. When we revalidated the journal line, the journal is now OK. Now we will enter a second transaction to record the entertainment expenses. Notice that the dimensions defaulted into the transaction. Let's look at the validation setup on this account. Again, we will right click and go to the main table form. Then we will go to the dimension tab. The department validation rule is set up as fixed, which indicates that there is only one valid dimension. The department 010 will be defaulted to transaction and will be posted regardless of whether the user changes or removes the dimension in the transaction. The cost center validation rule is list, which means that a valid dimension from the list must be entered. We will click on the validation list button to view possible values. The third dimension purpose validation rule is set up as default. The dimension listed will default into the transaction but can be changed or removed. Now let's go back to our journal entry and see what happens if we remove all of the dimensions. By the way, when an offset account is entered, the same dimensions will be posted to the offset account. If the dimensions need to be different, then instead of entering an offset account, a separate journal line with a credit amount should be entered. When we validate the journal, we receive an info log notifying us that a blank cost center is not valid we need to enter a cost center that is specified in the list. We do not see an error on department because the validation is fixed. Microsoft Dynamics AX will post to the administration department that was specified regardless of whether the user removes or changes the dimension on a transaction. Let's fill in some dimension values and revalidate. The journal is OK. So let's post the journal and then view the results. We will look at the voucher inquiry for each line. Here we see the debit to account 601500 and credit to the offset account. On the dimension tab, we see the dimensions that were used when posting. Now let's look at our second transaction. This one posted a little differently. A department was not entered into the transaction, but dimension 010 administration was posted to the Entertainment Expenses account. 
To complete this discussion, let's take a quick look at the sales order entry to see how default values and validation rules affect the other Dynamics AX modules. As seen on the Dimension tab of the Sales Order header, the Department and the Cost Center have defaulted from the customer. As seen on the Sales Order Dimension tab, the Purpose Dimension has defaulted from the item. Let's see what happens if we try to change the Department to 050 instead of 030 and try to invoice the sales order. An info log appears notifying the user that the department is invalid for this sales account 401170. Validation rules that are set up in the chart of accounts for the sales account ensure data integrity for all modules.